Hello all, welcome to Technostake in the series of artificial intelligence. Today we are going to look into the difference between informed search and uninformed search. So what is basically informed search and uninformed search and what are the differences? Okay, so the, this will be very useful to you. I have given the short notes over here. You can just write it down in short so that you remember it later when you revise it. Okay, so basically uninformed search is also known as blind search. Uninformed search is also known as blind search. And informed search is also known as heuristic search. Heuristic search. Okay. Yes. So now let's see the differences of the two. So first difference is uh, search without information and search with like uninformed search is search without information. So now with the basic example, I'll make you understand over here is now see if I have a problem statement or I have a starting state and I need to reach to the goal state. So now from this state, I can move to many different states like this. Like I'll explore all the states and I'll search for the goal state. So for example, goal state is this one. So here, the process of going from starting state to goal state while trial and error method, that is blind search. We don't have the information about the search, like what will be the steps of the search? What can we use for searching? So that is blind search or search without information that we don't use. We have to explore the results or states to get to the uh, goal state. So that is search without information. Now search with information here talks about uh, that we use heuristic functions or heuristics for information. So heuristic functions we use, for example, this is just for example, that we use heuristics for uh, searching the goal state. That is what is searching without information and with information. In uninformed search, we don't have the prior knowledge to the goal state. So where like which path we should consider is not given. Uh, whereas in informed search, we know that using this path, using this number of steps will be reaching from start state to goal state. Now this is for uh, by using heuristics. I have a video for heuristics, you can just watch that. Now uninformed search is time consuming, um, and but it will give you an optimal solution. It, if, if it is possible, it will definitely give you a time, uh, sorry, optimal solution, but it is time consuming. Whereas here you get a quick solution. For uh, uninformed search, as it is time consuming, what will be the time? Because we are using um, trial and error method, the complexity over here will be big O, B raised to D. We saw in the previous lecture of the session before, state, state space search, where I explained you that big O of B raised to D is here, B is branching factor and D is depth. And this is the complexity of uninformed search, which is more actually, it depends on the type of the, the number of branches and the depth that we take. Okay, and as it is more complexity, it will take more cost as well as more time. Here time complexity or the complexity of this algorithm, uh, let's just say uh, is very high. Whereas here an uh, uh, informed search, it is less complexity as we get quick solution, it has less cost also, but it may or may not get, it will get good solution, but it may or may not get the optimal solution for us. Okay, so that is one thing. Let's just take the example of traveling salesman problem over here. Now in traveling salesman problem, let's just say that I have five, uh, five nodes. Sorry for the drawing, actually, five nodes, which is connected. Which are connected interconnectedly. With this, okay, this is just a rough diagram. 
okay we have traveling salesmen we have five places and uh, they are connected and each of them have a cost so now complexity of this will be for uninformed such i'm saying whenever we have more complexity so traveling salesman problems and problems like search which have more complexity or whenever we used uninformed search the complexity grows exponentially uh, they have they are known as np problems NP problems uh, and here in this traveling salesman we have time complexity of n minus 1 factorial that is if we have five nodes so 5 minus 1 factorial that is 4 factorial that comes to 24 so that is the complexity of this algorithm TSP. so for this such examples we use informed search and whereas for short problems where we need optimal solution rather than time consuming solution like time time is not the barrier but we want optimal precise solution then we use uninformed search so for examples of uninformed search are dfs bfs which you might have studied if you have not if you don't have any idea i have a video of it you can check it out and for informed search, we have these algorithms. The most, most important example of algorithm that is used in AI is A star. I have a video for this also. You can check this out. A star is most important algorithm in artificial intelligence. Then we have heuristic DFS and best for search. Okay, so these are the examples of algorithms that you may uh, remember. Now these use heuristic function which is represented as h of n you can see in the video of heuristic function you can get it from the playlist or the description below the videos of heuristic function and then what is heuristics and uh, a star and all that so you can just get it from there this is how you actually represent heuristic function so they work on this heuristic functions to get their solution Okay, so now all these are all the popular algorithms, so you should know about them. So again, I'll just go in brief. Uh, in uninformed search, we search without information. We don't have any prior knowledge. It is time consuming as we use trial and error method of finding the solution. As we search and explore all the possible uh, branches that we can get, all the possible outcomes that we can get, all the results that we can get. It has more complexity, hence it is it has more cost and the examples are dfs dfs etc it is also known as blind search uh, for example uh, in the case of uninformed search we search with information that is using heuristics or heuristic functions we use knowledge to find the steps to the solutions we get quick solution because of we use the knowledge and it has less complexity hence the cost of it is also less we can get a good solution but it is not necessary that we may get optimal solution to this the examples are a star heuristic dfs best for search etc okay so these are all these things it uses heuristic function and uh, we saw the examples of uh, traveling salesman problem and um, so and so forth so this was the brief about what is uninformed search and informed search you should know about it uh, as you're studying state space search and other algorithms in ai um, so for that you need to know that what is the search format okay so this was all about this video thank you for watching this video please stay tuned for more such content to our channel also if you have not subscribed yet do so like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get the latest video updates to our channel thank you